in this experiment we are controlling led which is connected on the breadboard uh, using the uh, mobile app that is bluetooth audino controller so here i'll show you when i press this led is turned on when i press this led is turned off turn on turn off this is bluetooth model uh, hc05 and, uh, and on this chip it is written bc417 uh, uh, using this bluetooth we are going to control led it has got six pins on the back side you can see the first pin is enable pin second pin is plus 5 volts third is ground fourth is tx fifth is rx and the last one is te we are not using the t and enable pin we are using only four pins plus 5 volts ground tx and rx plus 5 volts of this bluetooth model it is connected to uh, 5 volts pin of Arduino Inno board and ground is connected to ground pin of Arduino Inno board and TX pin of Bluetooth is connected to RX pin of Arduino Inno board and RX pin of uh, Bluetooth is connected to TX pin of Arduino Inno board. I will connect and show you now. Uh, here I have done the connection. The blue wire which is 5 volts pin of Arduino Inno board it is connected to 5 volts pin of uh, uh, Bluetooth model that is blue color wire. And next yellow color wire it is connected to ground of Arduino and ground of uh, Bluetooth model and green wire uh, it is RX pin on the Arduino Inno board whereas it is TX pin on the Bluetooth model and uh, the last one white white is a TX pin on the Arduino Inno board and here it is white is coming on the RX pin of Bluetooth. So this is your Bluetooth model. Okay. So next, uh, here we are connecting LED, LED cathode, black black color wire. So this is uh, LED cathode. It is connected to ground pin of Arduino Inno board, and the anode orange wire. It is connected to pin number twelve on the Arduino Inno board because we have used pin number twelve in our program. Uh, so I have connected to pin number twelve. So this is all about the connection between Arduino Inno board, Bluetooth model and LED. You should enable Bluetooth in your mobile first. This is the first step. After enabling, you press the Bluetooth. So you pair it. I have already paired. I have paired with the HC05. So after pairing, you go back, uh, go to play store and uh, install Arduino Bluetooth controller app. So I have already installed this. Click on this. So enable Bluetooth. So enable this HC05. Click on LED or lamp control. So it and after this you click on settings. So you can change the setting here. So I have given uh, one for on and uh, zero for off. So you also you do like this. Click OK. For off also you give either 0 or off you can type here I have typed 0 press ok then go back ok then click on this the uh, LED connected on the board is turned on click on this the LED connected on the board is turned off on off on off 
you can also control with the help of the terminal click on terminal so here you type the command 1 and send LED stand on type the command 0 and send the LED is turned off in terminal mode also you can send 1 and 0 to turn on and turn off or in a bulb mode in a switch mode also you can turn on and turn off In this experiment, we are controlling LED using a Bluetooth model and the Bluetooth model is HC05 and uh, uh, using Bluetooth model, um, when I send 0, uh, the LED connected on the breadboard is turned off and when I send 1 from Bluetooth, the LED connected uh, to the pin number 12 on the Arduino Uno board, uh, it is turned on. Uh, for this uh, pin number 12 is declared and then to the pin number 12 uh, we are connecting LED pin and we are declaring one variable received character which is of type character. In the white setup uh, the LED pin is uh, made uh, we, uh, it is made as output pin uh, because we send 1 or 0 to turn or, or turn off so for that purpose, using pin mode command, we are making it as output pin. And uh, initially, uh, we send low to LED pin to turn off the LED. And uh, since the data is received uh, from the serial monitor, and the baud rate is taken as 9600. And in wide loop, we will check whether the serial data is available or not. So if serial data available is greater than zero means it is available. If it is less than zero means it, the uh, data is not available. So if the data is available, we will read the uh, data which is coming from the Bluetooth model and we will store it in a variable received character. After uh, storing it in a received character, uh, it process the uh, com it process that command. For that, we are writing one function process command received character. When I execute this command, it immediately jumps to this function. So in this function, uh, the character, uh, either I send 1 or 0. So when I send 1, uh, 0, it executes these two steps, these two instructions. When I send 1, uh, it goes to the case 1 statement and execute this. So if I send 0, uh, it executes this statement. Uh, it will write 0 to the LED pin. So the LED will be turned off and in serial monitor it is printed as LED off. And uh, if I send command 1, uh, I'll, uh, we will write high to the LED pin so that LED will turn on and we will print LED on in a serial monitor. So after writing this, you select the uh, port and uh, board. The board selected is Arduino Uno board under Arduino AVR board. Select the Arduino Uno board and uh, under COM port, uh, my uh, Arduino Uno board is connected to COM3. I have selected COM3. So after this, while uploading the program, you should not connect any wires to TX and RX pins of uh, Arduino Uno board. If you have connected, you remove it, then you upload the code. So it takes few seconds to upload the code. Now done compiling. It is uploading, done uploading. So after uploading, you go to the right corner and click on serial monitor. And uh, please take care that uh, the baud rate is 9600. Here also, uh, you select the baud rate in a serial monitor. Now, now you connect the uh, wires uh, to the TX and RX pins of Arduino Uno board from the Bluetooth model. And uh, how to do the connection uh, between the Arduino Uno board and the Bluetooth, I'll explain now. Uh, uh, after uh, doing the connection, uh, now you send 1. So 
so it will uh, give the it will print as led on at the same time the led connected on the breadboard is also on i'll show you now now when i send zero so the led connected on the breadboard is off so led is off in say from serial monitor also you can control the um, led now i'll show you how to control led from uh, bluetooth and how to do the connection also in this experiment we are controlling led which is connected on the breadboard uh, using the uh, mobile app that is bluetooth audino controller so here i'll show you when i press this led is turned on when i press this led is turned off turn on turn off 